Brian, let's talk. Let's talk about this weekend. Uh, France nervous. So Jesus, I am. So I'm confidently nervous, which I think is a good place to be in, right? Yeah. You were looking at the four teams, and everyone's talking about lopsided section of the draw, this and that. And yes, the top four teams in the world are playing a quarterfinal this weekend against yeah. other than two are going to go out. But we do have to play each other anyway, right? So yeah. if you lose in a quarterfinal, semifinal, you're still losing. I think. And not saying disrespect to the other side of the draw. This must almost be favourable for this side of the draw for a final, right? Yeah. Because you're the, looking at a semi-final. The intensity of the games. The intensity that, yeah. of the next round is maybe a little bit less, but it is a knockout game. So, quietly confident, but really is. And I want to say across the board, four quarterfinals, that is probably too tight to call. Yeah. Like all of them, like literally all of them are too tight to call. Ireland, number one team in the world, have been setting, you know, setting the precedent for the last 18 months. Yeah. 17 games successfully on the trot. That I haven't lost. So everything against him, haven't progressed by the quarterfinal. Dupont well, starts, right? I reckon Dupont starts. Or looking well, at the social yeah. media stuff, Dupont he's starting. Starts. Yeah, no idea. Honestly, you never starts. know with the French. I, I would have thought maybe <laughs> to yeah, if he's if he's if he's good enough to be on the bench, he's good yeah. enough to start, isn't he? But also with the, so with that injury, so obviously there's gonna be an extra nine thousand eyeballs and TV cameras potentially on him throughout the game. But there was a it's already to talk. Uh, the, shot to the head is a red card. So, uh, it could be a surgeon sitting there at home watching nervously <laughs> on the TV too. <laughs> that, but also the fact that there was a clip in the week of training and he was not wearing a scrum cap or a mask and, and a had a massive yeah. collision. And he yeah. bumped one of the French you know, guys over. Yeah. So he looks good to play, which I'd rather have someone that is potentially injured start because I'd rather take him off because if he comes off the bench and then gets injured, injured then you're in trouble. Then yeah. you're in trouble. So... But he is superhuman, let's be honest. They uh, might have inserted some titanium or tungsten, tungsten kryptonite, something kryptonite, like that. Some, and they're just putting the mask on as a bit of a... As is a that so good? Yeah. And if it's magnetic, I mean, what you want to go out on the field is big old magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Stop them from getting to the malls. And that's, I, don't know, I don't even know if titanium is magnetic, sorry. But, but the, the impact of the crowd also, we've heard about, you know, the, the call it simulation, you know. Obviously, the French crowd, very loud. You, I mean, we've seen it. Mm. How does that affect the game, though? You know, I mean, they're quite a knowledgeable crowd also. You've got line speed. You know, the crowd starts all of a sudden. They start whispering and booing. Yeah. Every time you come up quickly, a French player goes down. You know, the crowd starts whistling yeah. and all of that. It's, it's, it's massive pressure. Well, it's only massive pressure when it gets thrown on the big screen, right? Yeah. <laughs> so not yeah, of the of the eighty odd. Well, the big screen went off last. Remember last year? The, yeah. the big screen in went the off in Marseille. The yeah. velodrome with a try that yeah. we didn't, uh, didn't get to see. So... Is load is shedding. Load shedding. I mean, for those that don't know, load shedding is a real thing. Mitch, you're not load shedding, is it? No. I don't know what much. any sort of cheating so, is. <laughs> load it's shedding. been ages load since shedding. I've hung around McCaw. Uh, <laughs> he is, so I saw him last night. So we haven't got back. I want to ask about John Eels and yourself. Kicking contest. Who do you reckon wins? Oh, you will win. Me. <laughs> I can't lose to a tight forward kicking. I think John Eels would say that graciously. Whether or not it's true, I don't know. I think, look, I think overall he, he kicked that amazing one in Wellington to, yeah. to win the to win the Blues Low Cup match okay, against yeah. us. Stepped up and clutch after he's been pushing hard in the scrums all day and winning line out ball and stuff like that. I wouldn't take him on in the line out or the scrum or anything else for that matter. <laughs> but uh, I'd have a go at kicking. I reckon I might just edge. No, it. I think I think you'd be, I I'd back you on the, not I'll these days. He's still in good shape. He could kick him now. I could do it now. <laughs> No way. <laughs> if we were to just throw someone out in the second row that we'd potentially want to see kicking at poles, who do you reckon? Achievers. Anyone. Oh, it's current day. Or, or no, current day. This current group of oh, players. I was going to say Buckies. No, the no, Buckies. Could no, you Buckies. imagine I the, ball, ball, for the ball. Ball. No, Could be the only time you see the ball deliberately Buckies... fall over five <laughs> times with him coming at it. Although Buckies was a fly-off at school. Impossible. Oh. Buckies was a fly-off until Sand at eight. 16 years old, he was still a fly-off. Impossible. That's a, that's a honeyball style <laughs> fly half, isn't it? Like, uh, that's that's what the only time in my life I'd contemplate volunteering to go in the Fords. Yeah. <laughs> well, no uh, just the, the mental aspect of kicking, the, the pressure. I mean, you line up a kick opening game. Or what's going Can you hear the crowd? You feel it? How do you get your mind? How do you get focused? Everyone's a bit different, but I think they're, uh, clearly they're going to be a lot well, of kicking is going to be important this I, weekend. I loved it. I enjoyed having a buzz. I enjoyed having noise yeah. around. Sometimes it's pretty disconcerting, particularly in Ireland, where they just go completely silent, you know, or England as well, to a lesser extent, but Ireland. And, and, and you're standing there at the, at the back of your run-up, sort of concentrate on the ball and the line, and suddenly it's dead silent. And you think, far out, did 50,000 people just disappear? Yeah. And it's so it can be unnerving. So I, I always preferred a lot more atmosphere and noise. I preferred, I actually enjoyed people whistling and, and booing and trying is that, to Is that you why you, you gave the Bulls guys, the, you gave the Bulls guys the finger? Eh? That was just that exuberance. Was, yeah. <laughs> now that was, that, was, that was accumulated grief that, uh, you know what it's like going to Pretoria, very combative. Different for you when you're a local hero, and that's fine. Very combative, but very, 
very warm and engaging after the game. You know, they're at you when you go into the stadium at Pretoria. What, they're what at the... you. We're going to kill you. going <laughs> to smash you. If you happen to win, if you're We're lucky enough you. to get a win there against the box or yeah. the Bulls, and you go off and they're all still up in the box and they're shouting out, you guys are great today. You guys are wonderful. It's it's a fantastic environment. Goodness knows what, what, what made what, me what do were, that. What were they saying to you that day, though? They were proud of me after the game. I think yeah. it was the first time they'd seen me show any sort of spine on the field, you know? <laughs> so the, the Bulls supporters were actually pretty good. They were very generous about it. But, um, yeah, but goal kicking, I always enjoyed it because it's something that you know you can do. Yeah. It's not like somebody's throwing you and you've never kicked a ball in your life and yeah. you're now standing there trying yeah. to kick. So it's something you know you can do. It's something you look forward to doing. I certainly did. I preferred to focus on the the impending joy of getting the kick okay. rather than worry about what it would yeah, feel a like if, of looking if you miss. It, yeah. You know, so it was just always, for me, it was just always the thrill of you're about to do something that you enjoy doing, you know, as opposed to tackling. <laughs> I was always standing there thinking, this is for somebody else. Somebody else enjoys doing this. Oh, this is not my job. But kicking, I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, you're there. You're up there. Listen, listen we love Mertz. He's looking like a butler there. He's, he okay, can't, he can't, he can't move right. down. It's a bit heavy. Yeah, it's a bit heavy. Yeah, oh, he's he's right right I'll there. keep it there proudly. Yeah, there I, I used to have one when there I was nine go, years old. I had a, 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 a replica Springbok jersey, which, okay. you know, New Zealanders might say, hey, you know, what's the go there? But running around out in rural yeah. Canterbury with my yeah. Bok jersey on because I'd been born in South Africa. So I'll keep this. I don't know if it was meant for that, but I will. <laughs> Team selection for the box. Yep. Delayed. Usually remember that box always announced the mm. team early. This week, obviously different. Do you think there are going to be many changes? Oh, Mitch, you can come in here also. Do you think... So, so changes to what? To, to the Tonga, team. definitely. Yeah. To the island game, I don't see much. I think Marnie LeBox got the inside lane. So he'll be, you reckon he'll I, start I think team, my right? biggest sort of standpoint or hesitation or nerves around this, do we go 7-1, 6-2 or 5-3? I'm five, five three's been thrown around quite a bit, which I, I, I don't think I'm not sure. Why why would they go five three? So what makes you think that? Five three, because I reckon Andre would need a crack. Yeah. And then would it become at the expense of Billy? And then where do we go? Also, Andre, Billy, and Hun Scrum. Off. And either Grant or Kurvis Reinach, yeah. right? So I think that's sort of why my thinking would be a five three. Um and then you've got Dion Free, you know, who can sort of do that roving role yeah. should it happen, where Bongi Planet needs eighty. So I'm well, I'm more interested, do we go 5-3 or 6-2? I don't think we're going to go 7-1, my personal opinion. Why the delayed start? I, is it mind game? So it's just an analysis also. I think it's also different. You give the team out early, they can analyse you a lot more. Now the French, are, you leave like, them you know, guessing. The, the Springboks' core strength has been... Listen, this is our team. This is our team. And let's see what you're going to do. World Cup and final, 2019. World Cup final, 2019. This is how we're going to play it. If you're good enough, good on you. But I mean, the one surprise... <laughs> no, it's, it is. This is a surprise, of course. No, but we, yeah, we thought of the team would be out by even mm -hmm. yeah, today. today. So yeah. the one thing would have probably in the All Black game pre-tournament, the New Zealand game, where we were expecting a 6-2 and it became a 7-1. That, yeah. was, that was that was the first, no time, ever, that, yeah. first time ever. Do you think there's but, any chance of an 8-0? Never. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I've been saying to people as well, you know, with South Africans, it doesn't matter. It's, it's all eight anyway, because yeah. they can all play forwards and backs. They're all big and strong. So, yeah, you know. The problem is scrum off. That my only, oh, Chetland can go scrummy if we go nah, eight. Nah, look, I don't, no, we're not going to go eight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so selection, go eight. Selection but let's, let's, kill, let's kill that chat there. <laughs> we're not, not going to go. I think the longer it goes on, that I'm with Brian on, in terms of Le Box starting, yeah. because I think the French will be assuming, okay, Pollard's back in there now, yeah. and they're going to just try and play a more limited game rather than a more open game that is the perception of Le Box. Yeah. But uh, I, I think that means, you know, this delay means Le Box's going to start. He's, he's had faith since yeah. the start of the tournament, hasn't he? We also he? saw in Marseille last year for the autumn Nation series that was a cracking game. We it was saw a great game. We saw Damon Willems, uh, you know, really getting that back line going, option taking out of the 20. Like we, like Remember the French have also, they've got the, they're different because they've got that long kicking game. So the fullback, yeah, it yeah. does give you time to counter if no, the back three drop, the center drops, and you've got opportunity so, to have a go. From someone, the, you can launch from the back And easily. we actually played brilliant rugby that yeah. day, right? Uh, we also yeah. got 100% kicking at poles on Marseille yeah. after the dismal performance in, in yeah. Dublin uh, a week prior. So 6 2 5 3, I don't know. Um, I reckon Marnie's got the inside track. I'm, I don't know. Lacanio Arm, um, is that a spicy? Oh, yeah. You forget about that, yeah. Is that a spicy? Yeah. You know, does Jesse Creel deserve it? Does Lacan and Moody? So, it's fascinating. Is it mind games? Yeah. I think a little, a little bit. Some, someone mentioned something. A, a, a mate of mine that watches football, he said, why don't rugby teams announce their team two hours? You announce a squad, but you announce your 23 two hours before the game. Mm. So, it, it creates debate. It creates... It, then people actually watch it more because football you've actually got your squad announcements and then they announce the starting 11 yeah. before the match I'd love it rugby rugby that same way you say I'd listen guys you squad 
two hours before the match, you have to announce your starting team. Or even just when they run out to warm up, yeah. suddenly they've got the numbers on. Think how yeah. many, the like, crowd coming in, who's going to start, who's yeah. going to start? Maybe. Great. 